What is heartworm disease and what are the things that you need to understand about this condition? If you want to find out more, stay tuned because that is coming up next. What's up guys, my name is Doc for Thresho and every week we post videos, cases, topics and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. And this week we are going to talk about hard work. But before we proceed, please hit like, subscribe and the bell button so that you get updated for whenever we post new videos in our YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, Doc for Animal Wellness Center and we are also on Instagram. Doctor's Animal Wellness Center and my personal Instagram, Birds Thresher. On with our topic for today. Heartworm disease is a potentially fatal but preventable infection caused by worm parasite called Dirifolaria imitis. This organism is transmitted by mosquitoes. Lamok ang nagtatransmit dito which carry the heartworm larvae called the microfilaria. Galing yan sa infected animal host to a new animal host ang nagtatransmit yung mosquito. So once the larva arrive in a new host, they grow into adult worms in several months and live in the blood vessels that serve the heart and the lungs. In advanced infections, the heartworms enter the heart as well. The presence of parasites stresses the dog's heart and causes inflammation of the blood vessels and lungs. So in addition to this, Several complications are possible when the number of worms present becomes high and when the heartworms die. Siyempre, may lifespan yung mga heartworm. Dire-diretso sila ng pagmultiply, kaya padami sila ng padami. Susceptible animals can be reinfected numerous times, so different stages of heartworm infections may be present in the same animal. At least 70 species of mosquitoes can transmit heartworm disease. 70 species of mosquitoes. Ang dami niyan. So heartworm disease has been reported in most countries, in temperate countries, semi-tropical, just like the Philippines, or tropical, itong Pilipinas, no? Around the world, including the US, Canada, Australia, Latin America, Southern Europe, and definitely Asia. The infection risk is greatest in dogs that are housed outdoors. Yung mga nasa labas ng bahay. Especially sa atin dito sa Pilipinas, ang daming stray dogs. No? So sila yung pinaka-prone sa heartworm. However, any dog, whether it is an indoor or an outdoor pet, is capable of being infected. All it takes is a bite from a mosquito carrying the infective heartworm larvae. So, ibig sabihin, Huwag natin na may mga ririnig kasi tayo, Dok, hindi naman po lumalabas itong aso ko. Nasa kondo lang kami nakatira. So, kayo, hindi kayo lumalabas at yung mosquitoes pwedeng pumasok doon sa ating bahay. Most infections are diagnosed in medium to large size dogs that are 3 to 8 years old. Ganito yung may edad na kasi they need to develop and they need to propagate and multiply in the body for them to launch, uh, for them to be detected or magpakita ng mga clinical signs. The severity of a heartworm infection and the signs depend on the number of worms present and immune response of the infected dog. Siyempre, the duration of infection and activity of the level of the animal also. Most dogs are highly susceptible to heartworm infection and the majority of infective larvae develop in adult worms. The presence of heartworm in the vessel serving the heart and lungs and in the heart itself causes irritation and inflammation of the affected vessels of the heart chamber. So in addition, yung dog's immune system does further damage the blood vessels, especially in response to dead worms. So kasi syempre yung mga worms eventually namamatayan. And yung namamatay ng worms will cause an you know, immunologic response, which can eventually affect the individual animal also. So with long-term infection, ibig sabihin over one year in duration, the constant irritation will lead to scarring. Nagkakaroon ng peklat doon sa blood vessels and 
will alter or reduce the flexibility of the blood vessels. Heartworms typically live for three to five years and in an, in an animal's body. So may lifespan din ang mga heartworm. However, hindi naman sila kasi sabay-sabay na ipinapanganak at hindi sila sabay-sabay na mamatay. So merong adult, they have different life stages in the animal's body. In general, small dogs do not tolerate heartworm infections or treatments as well as large dogs do. This is mostly because yung small dogs, they have smaller blood vessels and heart chambers. So they can tolerate fewer worms without vessels damage or blockage. Siyempre, yung size ng worms, yung heartworm, isa lang naman yan. Pero yung mga aso, meron tayong large breed, meron tayong small breed. Ito pa isa, the bacterial organism called Bulbachia pipiens lives within heartworms. It is thought to contribute to the damage caused by heartworms disease. Bakit may bacteria doon sa heartworm? This bacteria is necessary for the normal development and reproduction of heartworms. As such, your veterinarian will likely include medication to kill these bacteria as part of the treatment plan. Ano nga ba yung mga signs and how do we diagnose heartworm? Common signs of heartworm infection include coughing, exercise intolerance, failure to grow, hindi siya masyadong lumalaki, no? Labored breathing, hirap huminga, uh, a blue or purplish discoloration of the skin and gums, spitting up blood, fainting, nose bleeding, and accumulation of fluid in the abdominal cavity. Pero, all this, sometimes, wala tayong nakikitang clinical signs. Dahil, Positive na yung aso, pero kakaunti pa lang yung damage na nagagawa nito. The severity of signs is often related to the amount of lung damage and the dog's activity level. So, syempre, yung mas active dogs such as yung hunters and yung mga performers will typically show more dramatic signs of infection than yung mga less active dogs. So, bakit nga ba? Kasi syempre, yung mga heartworm nandun siya sa blood vessels eh, and dumadaan yung dugo mas aktibo yung aso, mas mararamdaman niya yung mga baradong ugat na meron sa kanyang katawan. So even though they may have many worms, itong mga sedentary dogs na ito may show few or no signs. In addition, clinical signs can be seen as worms die or if blood clots or worm fragments block blood vessels. Your veterinarian has a number of options for diagnosing heartworm infection. The antigen detection test is the preferred method for diagnosis verification of a suspected heartworm infection. So this test is very easy to perform no? and it is considered the most accurate test available for dogs. However, this test cannot identify early infections because it can only identify adult worms at female worms. No? So, tandaan lang natin. Adult worms and female worms. So, kung na-infect yung aso mo early on, let's say, kailangan pa nilang lumaki to become adult, which is around 6 to 7 months, before we can actually detect their presence, before sila mag-positive sa antigen test. No? This is part of the reason your veterinarian will likely recommend that this test be performed every year. Other diagnostic tools include echocardiography, blood test, and chest x-rays or radiographs. Your veterinarian will select tests based on your history of use of preventive medications and the overall health of the dog. Pag nag-positive ng isang test, kailangan mas maganda kung i-verify pa rin natin another test. No? Why? Because the treatment and uh, the process is very tedious and the treatment is expensive. So we have to make sure that uh, the dog is really positive for heartworm. Ang pinaka the best manifestation will be finding microfilaria in blood stains. No? So sans na yung, ano na yan, yung uh, antigen. Once you see microfilaria in your blood stain, positive na agad yan. So, diretso na tayo sa gamutan. So now we discuss treatment. Prior to treating your dog for heartworm infection, your veterinarian will want a comprehensive medical history. Selecting the most appropriate treatment regimen will depend on many factors, including whether the dog has another disease that may influence the course of the treatment. 
Siyempre, the number of worms present and the extent of damage they have caused. Severely affected dogs may need medications to stabilize heart and lung disease before heartworm treatment. The only drug currently available to treat infections with adult heartworms is melarsumine dihydrochloride, an arsenical compound. Appropriate treatment kills both mature and some immature heartworms. There are actually two approved treatment protocols on or methods used for treating existing infections. No? Meron tayong two-dose protocol at saka meron tayong three-dose protocol. No? In both cases, the medication is delivered by injection deep into the muscles of the dog's back, dito sa lumbar muscles. No? Alternating sides of the back between treatments. So kung yung two-dose uh, method na gagawin natin, kung bibigay yung first dose dito sa kanan, sa susunod, doon naman sa kaliwa. Magkasunod na araw yon. Kung three dose method naman, magbibigay ka today, the next one will be 30 days, and 30, 31st day. No? So about one third of dogs will have some local pain doon sa area. May mamamaga, soreness, and, uh, and rarely nagkakaroon ng abscess at the sites of the injections. The two-dose protocol consists of two doses, 24 hours apart. The three-dose protocol naman introduces a delay in the treatment schedule. So under this schedule, the dog would first receive a single injection one month later and the second injection and the third injection to be administered 24 hours apart. Many veterinarians choose to use the third injection treatment regardless of the dog's stage of heartworm disease because it may be safer for the dog and more efficient at killing all the parasites. Kasi yung first injection will actually slow kill adult worms already there. So it will give time for the body to cope with the changes. No? Kesa bibiglain natin siya. Some veterinarians will prescribe medications before and after melarsumine. The antibiotic doxycycline can kill Wolbachia pipiens bacteria and young heartworms and reduce lung injury associated with melarsumine treatment. Preventive heartworm medications are also used to kill young larval stages. Corticosteroids can reduce inflammation associated with dying worms. So just follow your veterinarian's instructions closely and give medications as directed. So as a result of treatment, there is a risk that dead worms will cause severe respiratory problems. Mamamatay kasi ito mga bulati. So they will flow freely doon sa, sa blood vessels. No? Especially if dogs are not properly confined to restrict activity following treatment. These problems can occur from several days to six weeks after treatment of a heartworm infected dog. The signs of post-treatment complications include coughing, spitting of blood, labored or rapid breathing, lethargy, panghihina, no? lack of appetite, and fever. In dogs with complications of heartworm treatment, cage confinement with several days of oxygen treatment and drugs to control inflammation and reduce blood clotting may alleviate the problem. If properly cared for, most dogs begin to recover from treatment complications within 24 hours. So to reduce the potential for such dead worm reactions, all dogs should be confined throughout treatment and for 4 to 6 weeks after the final injection of melarsamine. Kasi nga, ito yung time na namamatay yung mga worms. So they have to be restrained in an area or confined in an area where they have limited movement. Hindi, hindi sila pwede magtatakbo or mag, you know, running up and down the stairs or play with the other dogs. No? So dogs treated for heartworm should be placed in a heartworm preventive drugs. Usually before treatment with melarsamine. No? And tested after 8 to 12 months to be sure all worms were killed. For those dogs that test positive, retesting might be required and if infection is confirmed, a new round of melarsamine will be needed. So, kung halimbawa nag-test tayo ngayon and then natapos natin yung treatment, 8 to 12 months, kailangan i-test ulit natin yung ating uh, dog kung positive pa siya. Ngayon kung negative, well and good, 
Diretso na lang tayo sa preventive kasi hindi ko mo nag, uh, nagamot na natin siya, hindi na siya marili infect It will spread through infection. Kung positive naman, we have to repeat the milarsamine treatment. Severely affected dogs can have worms in the heart that significantly block blood flow. These dogs may need surgery to manually remove the worms. How do you prevent heartworm infection? Heartworm infection is preventable. And there are several medications that are both safe and effective at preventing infections and are readily available from your, your veterinarian. Preventive treatment in dogs is recommended beginning at 6 to 8 weeks of age. No pre-testing necessary at this age. So, bakit? Kasi, sabi nga natin kanina, if yung asa mo nakagat at day 1, day 1 siya, kakapanganak pa lang yan, nakagat siya ng infected na microfilaria carrying mosquito, maglalaki pa lang doon sa katawan niya, and it will take around 6 to 7 months before it can actually be detected sa antigen testing. No? So, when beginning preventive treatment in dogs 7 months of age or older, an antigen test to make sure that the dog is not already infected is recommended. So, kung 7 months of age na yung aso mo before ka mag-start ng heartworm preventive, kailangan i-test muna natin siya if it's already positive. So if it's positive, ibig sabihin we need to, you know, we need to adjust, no? We need to find out and figure out if your dog is already positive, no? However, kung younger than 6 to 7 months, uh, no need to, you can start with the preventive, but no need to test yet, no? When beginning preventive treatment in dogs 7 months of age or older, an antigen test to make sure the dog is not already infected. Ito ay recommended, no? Followed by an additional negative test 6 to 7 months later. So, ulitin ko yun. So, kung dumating yung aso 7 months and older, kailangan itest muna siya, no? And kung mag-negative, kailangan ulit natin siyang itest 6 to 7 months later to make sure na hindi talaga siya positive. This is to ensure that the dog is not infected. Year-round preventive treatment is recommended for most dogs. However, you should check with your veterinarian about the best schedule for your pet. The most important thing that pet owners can do to protect their companions from heartworm infection is to be absolutely sure their pet receives the prescribed dose of medication at the correct time. Because the most common preventive drugs for dogs are given on a monthly basis. Many pet owners may forget to administer the medication. Pet owners may find it helpful to post the hardware medication dates on their refrigerator. Nakapost sa refrigerator doors and then check off the administration dates as the prescription is provided. Dito sa aming uh, uh, vaccination card, nakalagay dito yung hardware preventive schedule. So you can write the day kung kailan nyo siya binigyan and then you can also post a sticker if you want, but that's not necessary anymore. And you can also write the kung kailan siya due. So you can keep track whether you've given the heartworm preventive already or not. Okay? Uh, however, if that that is if you want to facilitate or if you want to use the monthly oral administration or spot on. There are also injectable anti-heartworm um, regimen that we can use on a yearly basis. Because missing an administration date may have serious consequences. If you miss a dose, you should contact your veterinarian regarding the administration of medication. We have several products in the market right now here in the clinic. This is at least what we use. We have NexGuard Spectra. It has anti tick and flea and heartworm preventive then given on a monthly basis. We have HeartGuard. Ito, matagal na to, But this is known to, you know, uh, ivermectin at saka parental yung kanya active ingredient um, for heartworm also and we have uh, Simparica Trio the newest product in the market right now with ticks and flea uh, preventive roundworms and also heartworm ang pinaka active ingredient na manila dito is moxidectin right and we also have spot on kung ayon yun ng oral you can give spot on uh, tick and flea preventive mites, intestinal parasites, and heartworm. No, 
So, madami tayong product in the market, products in the market. The most important thing is that you use them because uh, the most effective or the, the, the best product you have for heartworm is the one that you have. Okay, and the one that they actually take. Now, this, uh, ulitin ko lang, so these are for microfilaria, yung mga babies. So, this ones, ito mga anti-heartworm natin, this ones are given topically, monthly, and this one is given orally. Ito, this ones, no? Itong tatlong ito. Ito topically. And they're all given on a monthly basis. Now, if you keep on forgetting how to give your heartworm preventives, you can you make use of the yearly. This is injectable. A bit more expensive, but umaga, wala ka nang, one less thing to remember when it comes to taking care of your dogs. No? So, like what I said earlier, these preventives are for the babies. Babies. So, kailangan 7 months and above, kailangan itest muna ng antigen test before you start with the with the treatment no six months and below no need no so how do we how do we do the heartworm test madali lang you just get a drop of blood ilagay natin dito sa mga reagents like this as so this is one type of antigen testing okay uh, that we use here two or three minutes you will find out whether your dog is positive for heartworm or not okay and rapid test this is one this is another one so we have several kits that we can make use to diagnose whether the dog is uh, positive and if not positive to say sa i usually do my um, mcf or use another kit just to make sure that the dog is actually positive doon sa heartworm para meron tayong mas reliable yung ating diagnosis no? and once they are positive we discuss i personally will discuss the treatment method which is the administration of milarsumin sa kanila there you have it guys i hope you like this video and if you have comments reactions and you know other questions please use the comment down below this is dr stresho see you again next week